With rising power bills and greenhouse gas emissions, people are more concerned about saving energy. Air conditioners can use a lot of energy. Switching on a ducted system like this uses the same power as 500 compact fluorescent lights. Modern air conditioners are more efficient than ever, but three common factors still lead to energy wastage. One, poor product selection. Two, poor installation. And three, inefficient operation and lack of maintenance. If you're selling or installing air conditioners, you're able to influence these factors and help minimize running costs and emissions. This video outlines how. First, you've got to evaluate the householder's needs. If one room is being conditioned, a split system is a smart choice. If it's more than one room, a couple of split systems may be more efficient than a standard ducted system because there are no ducting heat losses and the temperature can be controlled in each room. Multi-head split systems are a good option if the two rooms are similar in size and conditioned at different times. For whole house conditioning, ducted systems, which use thermostats in each room, have superior efficiency and comfort over standard ducted systems. Correct sizing of air conditioners is critical. This must be based on the output capacity, usually in kilowatts, not horsepower or electrical input. Use a heat load calculator, which takes the thermal performance of the building into account. With ducted systems, don't size for the whole house, size for the largest area that will be cooled or heated at any one time. Once you've worked out your client's load requirements, choose the most efficient system to service that load. Use the Energy Star Rating to help. Multi-head and ducted systems usually don't have a star rating, so use the coefficient of performance and energy efficiency rating instead. Give the customer estimates on running costs of each system so they know what to expect. Give them advice on how they can reduce the heat load required and improve their comfort. For example, ceilings should have at least R2.5 insulation if installing air conditioning. Check out our Building for Comfort videos for some more tips on how to improve your client's comfort. Even with good product selection, installation errors will lead to energy wastage. When locating the outdoor unit, noise is a priority, but you should also think about temperature. The roof is not recommended as the heat exchange coil gets exposed to too much summer heat. Install in a location which is shaded in summer and reduces duct bends if it's a ducted system. For split and ducted systems, locate the wall units or ceiling vents so air isn't blown directly towards openings, such as stairwells. Locate ceiling vents to allow maximum circulation back to the return air grill. Poor ducting can waste a lot of energy. Make sure you follow the Australian standards and the building code of Australia when installing ducting. To minimise flow resistance, stretch out flexible ducts and don't bend them unnecessarily. 90 degree bends must have a throat radius of at least 1.5 times the diameter of the duct. Ductwork must be supported every 1.5 metres and the maximum sag between supports must be less than 40 millimetres per metre. Duct sizing is crucial, so use a ductulator to size each duct. Ducts must have the minimum insulation required for your climate zone. See our fact sheet for more info. Ducts are fragile, so try to locate them away from where they might be damaged, such as manholes. Once installed, turn the system on and check ducts for leaks. The return air grill is typically located in the ceiling of a hallway or entrance space to ensure maximum air circulation from supply vents. Ensure condition systems allow air to flow back to the return air grill by leaving doors open when in use or by installing grills in the doors or walls. Eliminate unwanted drafts from the circulation system by installing backdraft dampers on exhaust fans and sealing off unconditioned spaces. Poor operation habits can turn an energy efficient system into an energy hungry system. You have a critical role in educating the householder how to operate and maintain the system. Advise a thermostat temperature of between 18 to 21 degrees in winter and 23 to 26 degrees in summer. 
Even higher thermostat settings can be comfortable if a fan is used as well. They cost only one cent per hour to run. When using the air conditioner, the householder should seal off unconditioned spaces by closing doors and windows. On a hot summer's day, there's no need to switch the air conditioner on early, especially if no one is home. Switching on can be delayed by shading windows exposed to direct sunlight, shutting curtains or blinds, and using fans. The buildup of dust and dirt can reduce efficiency and air quality. Show the householder how to maintain the system by annually cleaning the outdoor heat exchange coil, air filters and return grills. So for energy efficient air conditioning, be smart about system selection and sizing. Think about energy efficiency when installing. Show the client how to best operate and maintain the system. For more information, download the fact sheet at www.tradesecrets.org.au.